Good day, campers. For today's project, I'm going to be changing the uh, propane pigtail that goes from the regulator to the propane tank on the uh, passenger side of my fifth wheel. This is a very, very simple, very, very basic project, unless you're someone that is a little bit uncomfortable with working with propane. Uh, if that's the person that you are, this video is for you. A couple of things before we get started. You're going to need an 11 millimeter or a 7 16 wrench. You can do this with a crescent, but I recommend against it because crescents can tend to damage uh, fittings if you don't get them adjusted quite right. The other thing you're gonna need is some uh, thread tape specifically made for uh, propane lines. There will be a link to this tape in the description. And then of course, you're going to need the pigtail itself. I will put a link in the description to the one that I bought. It's a 15 inch. The one you need uh, will depend on your location of your propane regulator with relationship to the tank. The other thing we're gonna do is on the other side of the RV. To ensure that you don't have any uh, propane or any issues on the side that you're working, make sure to switch your regulator to the driver's side of the RV. Unless that's the one you're replacing, then you would switch it to the passenger side. That way, uh, that whole other side is completely independent. You don't have any issues with propane from this tank trying to get to the other side. A lot of people set their valve in the center so that it will automatically switch from tank to tank. I don't do that. I like to know when my tank is empty. Next thing we're gonna do is remove the pigtail. Quick note here, the line that I removed actually needed a larger wrench. So depending on what's in your RV and which uh, pigtail that you buy, you'll have to determine which size wrench to use. Or like I said, the crescent will fit, fit them all, just be careful. Okay, so now I've learned something. I'm going to pass that along to you. These pigtails come with two different size fittings. The larger fitting is the one that goes into the high pressure regulator on this side. Oftentimes the switch over regulator on the other side uses an adapter to go down to this smaller fitting. Not all of them do. So before you buy a pigtail, make sure you know which size fitting you need on the end of the pigtail. I've put on my thread tape, now I re will reinstall the hose. Once everything's all connected, the propane tank is back in. You wanna test your connection to make sure that you do not have a propane leak. What you wanna use is a bottle of water with a little bit of dish soap in it so that the bubbles will show and spray your fitting to make sure that you have no bubbles. So that completes the installation. It's that simple, not that big a deal. And as always, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.